Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, but I am Penge and welcome back to Grounded, where last time out we started our life in the garden down here as a teeny tiny ant sized person, but we did okay, I think we did okay, there were a couple of spider related deaths, it's fine, you know we got murdered a couple of times, but that's fine, we were learning, we're new at being teeny tiny and outside in the garden, so now we know not to go near the great big spiders at night time, that's fine, but we did manage to do quite a few things, we've crafted some tools, we've got ourselves some very basic weapons and we have moved the story on a little bit so whatever this device is here we managed to get the laser things up here firing at them yeah it was quite a little bit of effort we had to go through and sort of uh, do battle with a couple of insects that were nibbling on wires and chop down leaves and plants and what have you but we got this thing working and then whatever this thing is here it sort of exploded a bit and then there were a series of explosions that headed off toward the base of the oak tree over there so that's our next big sort of story goal investigate the explosion at the oak tree. I don't really know what this thing is supposed to do and I don't know what to expect when we get over there at the oak tree. Um, we have got some other bits and bobs to do. We do have some big kind of grass things with us there, which I think we can use to build a base. Now I know that there is a spider that comes around over here because that's the one that killed us. So maybe we don't want to set up our base right there. That would probably be a bit foolish. However, do you know what? Actually, we'll grab some mushrooms as well for food. We are running out of inventory slots as well. We need to build some like storage and stuff. I think we should set up some sort of base. Now, I don't know where we should set up our base. Maybe, I mean, this thing looks, this look over here looks quite, it looks quite nice and sort of, you know, defensive. If we build some walls behind here, that might be quite good. So I think we can go into here and I think if we go to crafting and go to base building, we can get some walls and some doors. We can't make doors. We need a weed stem and some woven fiber. We can get some walls done. So we can make ourselves a wall section from the grass planks that we have. Okay, make a wall section. Ah, base building is underway. Okay, that's fine. I mean, do you want to face it outwards or inwards? I'm not really bothered. Um, and let's put it I mean, can we have it there so nothing can get through? So, okay, so if we just then pop that down, does that then, is that it? Do we then say yes? Okay, we can't We can't build any more though, can we? I think we've got enough materials to build any more, have we? Oh, that's going slightly bizarre. Um, okay, so now how do we go ahead and how do we build this? <laughs> we just click there. Do we just click like that? Um, yeah, I want to actually construct these now. How does this work then? So if we then just go out of that, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with the building of that now. So then we can just go in. Oh, right, I see. So we outline it, but now we don't have the materials to do that. However, we could go out and grab some of those. I suppose we could just cut down some stuff. I mean, can we cut that down? Can we cut this down? Oh, hang on a minute. I need to swap and not hold this thing. How do I, how do I not hold this? Do I need to drop it? Um, do I need to chuck it down somewhere? What does hook do? Oh, just, just throw it. Okay, right, yeah. Lob it over there for now. Now, what do we get if we chop this thing down? That is not being chopped down. Okay, right, fine, gotcha. Message understood. Can we get this for grass bits and bobs? Those things? Because it'd be really handy if we could have lots and lots of grass planks to build some walls with. Because walls are good. Walls mean defense. So we've got four of those again. So I think we can now use them to build another bit of wall. Yes, I like that. And then we'll use that. Maybe we can build on the other side of this log thing and then build over here as well and have ourselves a little bit of a base. That could be handy. We'll have that as well. Thank you. Right. Also, let's go in and let's make ourselves one of the little, where was it? Um, A little, oh, that could be quite useful. Oh yeah, that could be quite useful right now. Hang on, let's do that. Let's put that in. Yeah, so place that uh, and then do that. And then, yeah, build this thing. That's going to be very handy. Uh, we can light that. We don't need to light it right now, I don't think. We'll leave that for the moment. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we want to make ourselves the little, um, the lean-to. Yeah, that's what we want. So you can bypass the extra dangerous night time and set a respawn point. We need some more clover leaves. Okay, that's fine. We need to head off to some water uh where where were clover leaves <laughs> ah dear me the whole garden is so huge when you're teeny tiny um okay let's wander off and look for some clover leaves i think we have an awful lot of time left it's not like it's suddenly going to get to night time and we're going to be in trouble so let's just go and see if we can find clover leaves there were oh is that another oh hang on there's a scary bug thing 
There's something scary there. It's probably going to come and try and kill us. Let, let's just leave that thing alone. It's fine. It doesn't need to hurt me. I don't need to hurt it. Okay, I have found some clovers. Right, take that clover away with you. Right, okay, so we'll have those three. Uh, and we'll we'll grab we'll grab another one. We'll grab some more just in case we need to build another one of those things. Okay, right, that's nice and handy. Is there anything else around here? We might as well grab those. Okay, let's now head back to our base. And then we'll construct the little lean-to. And then at least, you know, if something does happen, if we get got... Oh, we'll take that, thank you. If we get got by another spider, at least we can go back to the same point and then, you know, have another go and try again. Okay, so we'll put the lean-to just there. So it can just sort of be in the corner. And there we go. Right, so we've now got ourselves a little kind of respawn point thing and somewhere where we can go to sleep and avoid the horrors of nighttime around here. I wouldn't mind getting that last wall section completed. Can we just go and get another bit of grass? That would be very handy. Just to get that done, we need four of those big kind of bits of grass. Timber! And down it comes. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's unfortunate. Can we load it up with three? Can we sort of build three and then, and then, ah, there you go, missing ingredients. Yes, we can. Okay, that's lovely. Uh, okay, we'll just add that bit. Bash, bash, bash. And one more. Nope. And, and one more. There we go. And we'll grab that last bit and we'll throw that into there. I quite like that, that you can put the ingredients you've got. Okay, I feel a bit better with just that there already. I like the fact that we have ourselves a bit of a wall. Now, I imagine some insects can come through that, but yeah, at least we've got something. Right, is there anything else that we need to make? Storage basket, that could be quite useful. Plank pallet, do we need that really? A workbench, this is probably going to be really useful. Armors and weapons with advanced materials, we need some more grass planks. Well, do you know what? There's plenty of grass around because we're in a garden. So let's go and grab this. Chop, chop and chop. And I think that will give us it demolishes itself yay there we go that gives us some well, that gives us quite a lot of grass planks um yeah we'll have that we'll have that so that's three of them so then let's build ourselves a workbench over here let's get that done pop a workbench say i don't know there that'll do that looks good uh right construct that that is splendid so here we go so now we can interact with the workbench oh look and we've got used little little bits of sap to hold up our plans Oh, I quite like that. So now we can make a hat. I'm very tempted to make a hat. I'd love to make that hat. However, we need some grub hides, which sound thoroughly unpleasant, and we don't have any of those. We could also do with building some sort of storage. Um, so a storage basket would be quite good. Uh, woven fiber. Go to the entry. Can we make some of that, please? So yeah, craft some of this. We, we can make loads of this. Look, we've got loads and loads of stuff in fact we've got so much plant fiber can we just keep making loads of this woven fiber we've got loads of plant fiber and we might as well use it for something so let's just get lots of this let's maybe get down to i don't know 10 or something as near as we can and one more there we go so now we've got plenty of that so if we go back to base no not base building utilities was it a storage basket yes please um pop one of those i don't know just there will do for now finish building that and then in here, this is splendid. Right, let's chuck some of this stuff in so we can double click. Oh, hang on. Can we can we just move all of it over? There we go. That's much better. Um, we don't want to move the pebbles, the plant fiber we want to keep. Uh, okay, what else do we need to move over? The clover leaves we can put into there. We probably, actually, I didn't check. Do we need to actually eat and drink something? Oh, yeah, that, that would be good, wouldn't it? Let's eat some of these. Let's eat some of these. Hang on, can we, can we cook this? If we light that, and then do some cooking. Can we cook anything? Can we cook the mushrooms? No. No, we can't cook the mushrooms, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe we could cook the mushrooms. I wonder if we need to go and get ourselves some meat to cook. Is there anything that's, you know, getting a bit fighty that we want to get the meat of? Oh, there's something going on over there. Do you want to help the spider fight that bug? I don't think that bug cares about us, though. I don't really think it cares. We'll grab these mushrooms, though, just in case food does get a little bit tight. They're in their own little battle. That's absolutely fine. Joe, you know we will get some dry... Oh, don't come near me. Don't come too near, Ant. I don't want to accidentally chop your head off. We will have some dry grass, because that could come in useful. Uh, okay, what's this? What was that thing again? Have we seen this before? 
Was that the, there was a dis, like a mint dispenser thing, wasn't there? Is that what that is? Yes. Okay, right. We've seen this thing before then. Okay, right. We need some water. We need some water. People said, look up for dew drops. But I don't know if we're going to get dew drops at this point in the day. I imagine they will have all kind of evaporated by now. Oh, I see. Right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Getting a bit fighty there, insects. We'll have you, Nat. There we go. Now, here we go. This is interesting. This is interesting. If we get Nat meat, we <laughs> stay still. We've got Nat fuzz and Nat meat. We also might have to have some terrible, terrible water. I do apologize, Pete. Sorry, Pete, for the terrible, terrible water. Uh, let's run over to our... Yes, we're hungry. I know, I know. Let's run over to here. But can we now cook up this gnat meat that we've got. Mm, <laughs> delicious. Yes, we can. Okay, yeah. Cook that for, for your sins. And then can we uh, eat the gnat meat? Uh, hang on. How would we... Inventory, yeah. Um, can we put that down into one of the slots? Where is it? Where would gnat meat be? What does cook gnat meat look like? I've got no idea. Oh, it's appeared up there. Right, okay. I see. We need to grab it. And then we need to go and eat it. Right, okay, it was still cooking at the time. Okay, right. Inventory. Now put that down into put that into there, if you'd be so kind. And then can we eat that? Yeah, there we go. Close your eyes and imagine it's a fruit pounder. That did wonders for our food level. Look at that, it almost went up to the top. That is brilliant. I also notice it's getting a little bit dark. Don't want to have to go out and about at night time. Let's let's lay out sort of uh, lay out a few more um, sort of uh, wall areas. Can we get rid of that? Oh, we get plant fiber from that. Oh, that's splendid. There we go. Uh, so yeah, if we get rid of you, we'll chop you down, grass, because you're in the way of you're in the way of our plans for our base. So get rid of that. Get rid of that bit as well. So we'll take the plant fibers. Thank you. Um, and then, yeah, we'll take all of those bits. We'll pick that up and that sap. Thank you. And then we'll have a couple more bits there. So there we go. So we've got enough to build one section of wall anyway. Um, so craft us some base building, some walls. Yes, please. We'll do this. So presumably, again, we want it to be facing out. Well, in fact, can it? Uh, I can't clip onto there. look anymore. Uh, oh, could it? Can it clip onto there? Hang on. This might require some some fiddling and some faffing. Are we going to be able to make it work? Okay, it's not brilliant and it's not perfect, but I think it will do the job. So we can build ourselves a little walled area. The only thing we can't do is get this bit done here. It kept trying to snap to just there, but there we go. We can at least get some of it done. And then, you know, as time goes on, we can just go out and get some more grass and get some more of this stuff and just slowly build up the walls. So how about we get that done now? How is our little axe looking? Our axe is looking okay, actually. It's not looking too bad. So we need all these bits of grass to just turn into the grass planks. So let's spend our time now. I'll just chop down some more grass. I'll just chop down some more grass, pick up all of the grass plank things, and then just try and build as much wall as I can before it actually then gets late, because it is looking a little bit late. We also do need some, we need some drink. We do need some water, actually. Hang on, where where is water nearby? Hang on, let's go get water, even though it might be horrible, horrible water. Uh-oh, uh-oh bug thing and boom and but where have you gone where have you gone oh ah where is it it's up oh it's it's kind of flown away no not bothered i thought you might be coming to get me okay uh and then yeah let's just go and try and get a mouthful of awful fetid terrible you know mud water and then we'll come back was it in here somewhere um oh no where was the water i don't want to wander out too far because of spiders because of terrifying killy death spiders uh okay right need to find some water where is water there's a big bit of water on there i wonder if i cut down this grass is that actually going to help or is that just going to ruin the dew drop of water on the end there like is that now going to remain no look it's still there it's still there oh this is perfect that will do the job and we'll have some more oh the the water issue is completely sorted and we've got ourselves some extra grass planks and also we're not too far away from home either and i think we might have the final three grass planks left that we need i think that finishes our wall i mean it's not the most advanced of things it will probably do the job for now so there we go. Yeah, look, I mean, there's a little gap in the corner, which is unfortunate. I mean, yeah, we could use that as visibility or something. I don't know if anything can actually get through there because there is a bit of a thing here as well. 
let's have a look. Hello, Ant, can you come in? No, I don't know if anything can get through there. But I'm quite happy with this. I like this. This will do the job quite nicely indeed. So we could do with putting some sort of gate in. Now, what did we need to build ourselves a gate or a door? So grass planks here, we can get those sprigs, fibres, weed stems. Where do we get a weed stem from? Where is that? I mean, I assume this is, that's not a weed, is it? Where do we get a weed stem from? I don't know. That's dry grass. We'll have a bit of that anyway, because that could be handy. But where is a weed stem? I don't know. And do you know what? It's getting a little bit, little bit dark. Hey, friend. Please be my friend. Be my pet. Come here. Look, I've got a base and everything now. Look, look, it's got walls and, and a thing which glows inexplicably. Why is that glowing? What What's causing the glow? Some sort of slime or something. I don't know, but it's glowing because it is, because science. Um, Joe, you know what? Let's just use this. Let's just do this and we'll have a sleep. Oh, no, I can't sleep yet. I can't sleep. We'll set that as a respawn point. Yay, little ghosty face. Hello, ghosty. Um, And then we'll just sit. Joe, you know what? Let's light that because that's quite handy. <laughs> so I can, you know, so I can see. Uh, we'll have a mushroom to eat. Not the best thing to eat, but it will do for now. And... um. Yeah, we'll just sort of, we'll just kick around until it gets to eight o'clock and then we'll go to sleep because I don't want to go out there because it, it looks a bit scary now. It looks a bit scary. And the last time we went out at night, we did get murdered by spiders twice. Well, in fact, it was the same spider that murdered us twice. So I think maybe we will just sort of kick around until the morning. Um, oh, hang, five more minutes. Let's just, let's just admire the fire. Ah, that's nice. What did we use to light this? I have no idea. I've got no idea. We rub some sticks together very quickly. Okay, so now let's do this. There we go. Splendid. Uh, yeah, sleep. Absolutely. Perhaps we should make camp for the night. Yes, do that, please. And now it's the morning. Now we are looking a little bit low on food and water. Now, can we see dewdrop things anywhere up in the leaves? Can we see any of those? Because we are going to need... We are going to need some of those. I don't think we can chop these down, can we? I don't think that makes any difference. No, I don't know what they are. Um, yeah, can we see any dewdrops? Because we are quite thirsty once again. I haven't found a weed, but there is a gnat. And I think it might have been the gnat that we had a go at the other day. Is that now dead? Can we have the gnat? Because that could be useful for food. There we go, raw gnat meat. So we can get ourselves some food when we get back. I have had no joy as yet in finding any dew drops that we can enjoy drinking. I just don't know where they are. I've not got a little marker thing telling me where they are. So I'm not entirely sure where to find them. Maybe now with the sun coming through, which is very pretty. It's wonderful to look at. Um, maybe we can, maybe we can find a dew drop. It's either that or we're going to die of thirst, Pete, or we go and drink from a horrible muddy puddle again. I mean, it's your choice. I'd rather find the dew drop. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled. Let's find ourselves something to drink. There's one just there. There is one just there. Now, which leaf is that attached to? I think it's attached to this leaf just here. Right, away, grass. I know, I'm hungry. I'm hungry and thirsty. I know, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. There it, there's, the, there's the solution to thirst. Just there. Yes, we'll have a slurp. Lovely. Okay, nice and clean. Right, now we need some food. So we need to head back to base. We're not too far away, fortunately. So we can do this. We can always have some water from there if we really need to. So we can, we'll grab that on the way. Right, there's our little base. I do like that. I like the fact that we can now have a little base. We go back to it. And then we need to go into here and we will light the thing. We'll grab that sap. Uh, we will cook the gnat meat. How lovely. So we'll do that. And then I guess we just have to wait for that to cook do we and then we need to eat this and we do need to do it very quickly if you could hurry up that would be splendid i mean do we just now leave it until it's done how do we know when that meat is done i mean does pete have experience of this i've no idea but there we go we'll eat that and that has sorted that out quite nicely okay splendid i think maybe now let's go and investigate the explosion at the oak tree we're looking okay for food and stuff. We've got some of the mushrooms on, you know, to take with us on our journey. We could do with finding another thing to drink. If we see another sort of little sort of you know, dew drop thing on the way, we will try and grab it because it would be nice to have both those meters closer to the top. Um, there we go. Let's head this way. Hey, friend. Hello, friend. Come with me. Be my friend. Don't run away. <laughs> Why does that thing run away? Oh, hang on. This is a thing we've never seen before. Tropicop Puncho. 
Okay, what is that? It's a giant carton. Oh, oh, there's a huge, big. Is that actual drink? Is that like a, a fizzy drink, or whatever that is? Orange juice, or whatever that's supposed to be. Oh, that could be handy. And that's quite near our base. That's quite near the base. Okay, that's quite useful. Both our meters are looking very, very healthy indeed. Uh, okay, right. Now I feel a bit more confident. We can head over this way. Uh, oh, is that a snail? <gasps> Have we found a snail? There's a snail shell. I don't know if there is a snail inside. No, I don't think there is. Hello? Anyone there? No, no one there. Okay, never mind. Right, where's the where's the tree? Spider. There's a spider. I'm running away from the spider. Running away from the spider. Let's go this way then. Let's try and dodge the spiders when we can. We'll head over this way. And, oh, there's a great big wall. There's a big wall. There's a spider. I need to run away. Running away is what I've just been killed. <laughs> I thought the spiders weren't supposed to go out in the day. <laughs> I thought I was safe. I was ripped apart by an orb weaver. They sound thoroughly unpleasant. Do you know what? At least we can respawn at the same point. Hooray. Oh, no, but now we've lost all our things. <laughs> oh, it was all going so well. Right, we're going to head back that way. Maybe we'll try and creep and grab the things from whatever they were called, the orb weavers. We'll go and grab them. Hey, it's that big bubble of water again. This is great. We'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. Um, We'll try and get our stuff back if we can. Maybe we just need to wait a little bit longer in the day. And then we need to make our way over to the tree because that is where the next sort of bit of this mystery lies. What is going on there? Why is stuff going on at the tree? I mean, I, I, yeah, I was going in the wrong direction there. I was going in completely the wrong direction. Right, is that thing gone? Can I go and get my stuff from my own corpse? Which is a bit weird. You know, I feel a bit sorry for Pete. He's quite young, is Pete, and he's having to collect things from his own corpse. I think the spider... No, the spider's come back. The spider's come back. I can see it there. I can see it being spidery and sort of floaty, because, of course, we've got the nice arachnophobia-friendly mode on. Right, can I just very quickly run and get the stuff? Or have I got to wait and time it right? Run now. Run now. Don't run now. Don't run now. R run away. Run run now, but in the complete opposite direction. Yeah, it, it, it knows I'm here. I think it knows we're here. Where is it now? Think it might have gone away? No, it's still lurking around. Go away, spider. I want to reclaim the things from my corpse. Okay, I think it's following a route. So if we try and go and grab everything now, yeah, take all. All of the things and then leg it this way as quick as we can because I think it saw us. But if we run away quick enough, it's not going to stray too far from home, I wouldn't have thought. Hopefully if we turn around now, there is not a spider following us. No. Don't think so. I think it's it's moving those branches over there, but I think we're fine. Okay, right. Now we've done that and yeah, we've been killed again by a spider and that's fine. Uh, let's go over here and see if we can't get to the base of this tree. There's ladybirds up ahead. There's ladybirds. Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, that's very nice. Uh, yeah, I could see this stuff moving and I thought they were spiders. So I ran away, but then I looked from distance and went, you know what? They're not spiders. It's a ladybird or a ladybug, whatever you want to call it. Hello. You're quite terrifying close up, aren't you? Bye-bye. Oh, there's something down there as well. I don't want to go meddling with that just yet. Let's go and see what's going on here then. Right, base of the tree. The explosion at the oak tree. So here I am at the oak tree. Uh, is there anything going on at the oak tree? Oh, I heard a noise. What was that noise? Oh, there's a thing there. What's that? There's a thing. What is this thing just here? Do I need to get up onto this leaf? Try and investigate what's going on there. No, I don't think we can do anything with that. That looks slightly too far away. I can hear a slightly scary noise. I don't I don't want to get involved with whatever's making the scary noise. Or is it those things making Oh that oh it's got red eyes. It's got red eyes. The <laughs> The Ladybird has got furious red eyes. Right, that that's it. That's that's me scared forever. Right, okay, let's just go over here. An acorn. Can we smash these? Can we whack an acorn? Requires a busting tool. Okay, we're going to need some sort of hammer for that, I imagine. Can we go? No. Let's go away from that place, because there be spiders. Uh, okay, we'll pick up all this stuff. Okay, can we find a way in? Can we find a way into whatever, well, yeah, wherever we're supposed to be heading? Ah, it's across that side. Okay, however, I am intrigued 
with whatever that is. What's that? Sap clump. That also requires a busting tool. Okay, fine. Right, let's head round here then and see if we can figure out what the mysterious sort of weird pink stuff is. Okay, well, I guess this is the site of the explosion. I don't really know what's going on over here. What was this? I am fascinated. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, there's a little building. There's a little sort of doorway in there. What is this over here? What's this? There's something that's exploded. Right, it's, it's clearly gone quite fabulously wrong. And there's wires and stuff. Okay. But yeah, there's a little... There's a little kind of doorway. There's a hatch built into the tree. <gasps> there's a camera. And it seems to be working. Right, don't kill me. I come in peace. Oh, dear me. This is very much a bit of a mess. Okay. I mean, I'm loving the hot pink kind of damage stuff. That's fine. Anything in there? It's seen better days, hasn't it, this place? It's seen better days. I mean, we probably did cause it to explode. Look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be real. They're the things I keep finding around the place. We picked those up, didn't we? All these different things. BTU-01. What does that mean? I'm going to press it. Brutal transcription unit. 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello. My name is Brutal, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. <laughs> okay. So, right. So Wendell... Wendell must be a scientist of sorts. Uh, I mean, what do we do with all this stuff? I did notice up here there is there is all sorts of things. I mean, right, I'm going to pull the lever. It didn't do anything. Push the buttons and then pull the lever. Do that. Oh, hang on. They've all gone green. What does that do? Hello? You've got... Oh, oh, right. You're, you're, you're trying to kill me. Okay, fine. Everyone else around here seems to be trying to kill me. Let's just keep jabbing you with this primitive spear. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Right, are you going to explode? I feel like I should possibly run away. No. Okay, but you didn't explode. But you did try and come and kill me. Okay. And we got 100 hats. Hooray for the 100 hats. I mean, this is that's clearly what they are. But what do we do with them? What do we do with the 100 hats? I have no idea what we do with the 100 hats. We discovered the Oak Lab. Okay. It looks lovely. Ominent data link. Something has been detected. Oh, there's big red buttons and it won't let me push them. Game, that's just mean. If there's a big red button, I'm always going to go and push it. Uh, okay, well, let's have a look around this side of the lab then. There's another door just there, but it seems to be telling me to go into there. But what's through there? Is this gonna? Is that stuff going to choke me? Am I going to take damage from that stuff? So there's a pink thing there, and I feel like I should possibly go and pick that up. Can I get, can I get that? Can I just acquire that thing? Yay! Okay, a hundred more hats. Hooray for all of my hats. <laughs> what do I do with them? No idea. Okay, let's get back up and head to where the game wants us to go. Oh no, look! Is that Burgle? Because he's got like a flipper hand thing. Is Are you Burgle? <gasps> Let me help you, Burgle. Burgle, come back to life. Where are you hurt? Thanks for the helping hand. Oh, my pleasure, Burgle. Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. You don't say. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized and brought here by the ominent researchers. Unfortunately, this is all speculation because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. I don't suppose you would know anything about that. No, why would you? Okay, moving on. No, not me. The batteries here are completely drained. So we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever questions you might have. 
Okay, there we go. So that's the end of the story content. So of course, we're in early access. That's as far as we get with the story. So we found Burgle. The story is just getting started. There's still so much more to do and more of the mystery to uncover. Continue to explore, build bases, take on Burgle quests and provide us feedback and on how to make the experience better. Diddly doily do. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Burgle is amazing because look at... burgle got a rainbow moustache <laughs> Burgle, your moustache is wonderful. Can can we just talk about your moustache? Let's have a chat with Burgle. Because as well as having an amazing moustache, Burgle is, is quite adorable. Look, a proper little sort of robot. And like, he does have a kind of, you know, a, a flippy hand for doing grilling. Uh, okay, can we chat with you? What do you say? Hello there. Acting science manager, B -B -B Burgle, at your service. Okay, right. So what do we do here then? I'll trade you some raw science. What is that? Are they the things we've been finding? Is that what we've been finding? Raw science? Okay, let's press this and see what happens. If you have any extra raw science, I'd be happy to, to, to trade you for it. Okay, right, makes sense. Do we have any? Bring more of my lost research chips now to expand my menu of items. No research cards installed. Show high. Oh, we can't do anything with it. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, right. Um, okay, what should I be doing now? Am I just going to say, hey, go and do some more stuff? Build a bigger base. The insects in the yard have been getting a little riled up. Can I call my parents? No, there is no phone. But that is a good idea. Ha ha ha. No. <laughs> okay. Got it. Understood. I guess we could ask if he's got any work for us. Do you have any work for us, Burgle? Three bold quests arrive each day. For each completed, raw science do I pay. Oh, a lovely little kind of rhyme there, Burgle. Uh, okay. What can we do then? So, Hunter Weevil. Kill a Weevil, we get 60 raw science points. Or kill a worker ant, we get 30. That seems a bit mean, because the ants don't seem to bother us, so I don't see why we should go and bother the ants. Or the Alchemist, analyze some sap. We have some sap. We could accept that and get 100 raw science. Why don't we do that? Yeah, okay. We'll accept that one, please. We'll give that a go. Now, how long do we have to do that? I do not know. But okay. Um, right, so we get ourselves... Oh, we've got 100 more hats. Yay for the 100 hats. Uh, well, let's have a little look around here. Um, and then... I mean, where are we? Where? Ooh, oh, can we fall out of there? No. Okay, right. There is There is glass. There is glass. It feels a little bit unnerving going that way. But okay. So, yeah. We're just sort of... This is what the inside of an oak tree looks like. There is a big blob of floaty stuff... Hello, floaty stuff. Can we can we get you? Yes, we can. Five hundred hats. Got so many hats. Got so many lovely hats with twirly bits around them. It's wonderful. I've just noticed that Pete is quite unwell. Poor Pete is very unwell indeed. Look at that. His health is very low. It must have been that robot that we came to in the first room that caused us quite a bit of damage. And um, there is a tape here, BTU02. So another little tape. Let's pick this up and have a listen. never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you Mark IVs, not to mention your most excellent moustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. I have to agree, they do have wonderful moustaches. And there is an analyzer just here. Can we analyze this? And can we analyze a bit of sap? Can we do that? Because we've kind of already, oh no, that's that, no, where's the sap? Where's the sap? There, we've already analyzed the sap. So how do we analyze the sap and take it back to Burgle? Burgle, we've already analyzed the sap. Can, can we Can we cash in the quest? Uh, okay, any work? Yes, okie dokie. Oh, it's complete. Oh, okay. Do, do we just, do we get given a reward now or do we get given a reward later, Burkle? I don't know. Okay, never mind. Well, there we go. We've done that one. That was nice and easy because we've already done it. Let's continue exploring the slightly sinister, ominent base. Oh, that door is locked. Oh, hang on. Big button. Let's open it. And then we're back here again. Okay, we're back in this sort of first room again. Okay, can we jump into that or anything? No. Okay, fine. Well, I think we've done everything that we can do around here right now by the look of it. I don't think there's anything else for us to do as it stands at the moment. So I suppose we should head back outside. We do need to find a way to heal poor Pete. 
Pete is he's he's not well, is Pete? He's a little bit under the weather. We'll try and find a way to make you a bit better, Pete. Ah, we can make a bandage out of plant fiber and sap. Let's do that. Let's make ourselves a bandage. And then how do we then apply the bandage? I imagine if we go to inventory and do this, can we then just use that? Actions. Um, not consume. Oh, I'd rather you used it. Hang on. Maybe if we put it there, put it into our hot pouch and then just press four. Are we then going to apply it to ourselves? Oh, it's talked our health up the tiniest amount. It was, oh no, hang on, it's still going. It's still going. It, it's getting our health up a tiny bit. Now, unfortunately, it is getting a little bit late. We are going to have to run back very quickly to our little uh, our little base and try and hide out there for a bit. I wouldn't mind just looking over here, though. What is over here? It's a pond of some sort or a big puddle, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay, we'll have a bit of that. Thank you. Sorry, Ant, if you're going for that. And there is another big lunchbox thing over there. Now that could be quite handy as well. Hang on, is this clean water? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this clean water? Can we get can we get water from this? I don't want to fall in and die. That that would be a sad way to go. <laughs> hang on. Can we can we get down to the I might have just fallen in a little tiny bit there. I think we can get out though. It's okay. There is a twig. Let's climb onto the twig. Can we drink this water? Slurp. Okay. Is that nice water? No, it's terrible water. Okay. <laughs> I thought because it was a like a lake thing, it might have been quite nice, but clearly not. Um, does that have any water for us? This thing over here? Can we have water out of this? Or is this going to be an equally bad idea? Has anything dripped out of this? There is. Oh, there's multiple sources. Oh, yes, we'll have that. Thank you very much. And Joe, we'll leave that there. We don't even need it now. There's a big can of drink. There's a big drinks can with lots of water around it. Okay, that's good to know as well. So if we're ever running low, we can always go and try and get some water from there. Right, job now, get home without being brutally murdered by spiders. Are we looking like we're facing in the right direction? Sort of. We sort of need to head over in this direction and avoid all of the terrifying spider monsters. Um, okay, right, let's just, let's just run. Let's just bravely run this way and hope that we don't die a bit. And here we are, home sweet home, and how lovely it looks. Let's just light that because, you know, it gives us a little bit of light, makes it feel slightly less scary. I'll also grab some of the sap that's hanging off there because why not? Okay, there we go. We made it back. A few worrying moments. I think we attracted the attention of a spider when I fell off a big leaf, and I think I ended up possibly in the uh, in the spider sort of uh, nest. But fortunately, I was able to run away. I was able to run away very, very quickly. And uh, yeah, there was a, a bit of a spider threat, but we evaded that, which was fine. And um, and yeah, other than that, it was I did get lost a little bit, but we're finally back here, which is lovely. So yeah, we're back home in our lovely sort of grass walled base. Also, let's make ourselves a peblet hammer whilst we're here, shall we? Because, yeah, we saw those acorn things and we needed to crack them open with one of these. So, yeah, we'll get ourselves one of those constructed. Thank you very much. So how does that look? Have we got it in our inventory or not? I don't think we have. Hang on. Right. Let's move that down over into slot number two because we don't need a stone thing. That's fairly useless. There we go. We've got a big hammer. Now, is that what we need to knock this thing down with? No, it doesn't look like it is. I mean, that thing is quite big. That thing is very, very big. I'd be surprised if we can actually chop that down. I mean, it offers us a bit of protection in the doorway, I suppose. But there we go. I mean, we've got ourselves a hammer. We've got ourselves an axe. And we have ourselves a spear, sort of jabby thingy as well. So, you know, we're looking okay for tools and kind of defence. We are not looking too shabby. And you know what? I think we'll wrap things up with Grounded for now. Because I think we've kind of completed everything we can in the story mode. As it stands in the game right now. We've kind of seen that. And that's kind of the big draw for me. I'd like to know more about the story of why we're here. And we get some more things to do. And go exploring and uncover some more little sort of you know, mysterious things. That have been left here by that organisation. So yeah, I think that's kind of the big draw for me. I know there is a lot of survival stuff that we could get up to. But yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit... You know, we've got no kind of future goal now. There's nothing else for us to do in the game right now, except just survive 
and that'll involve doing a lot of the same sort of thing. So, you know, rushing out and doing, you know, grabbing water and grabbing food. And then, yeah, we might craft some extra base stuff. But I think we've got an okay base and we've seen what the base building is like and how it works. We've got ourselves a little kind of a campfire there. We've got a little place to, well, I was going to say, have a nice sleep. I don't think we'd have a nice sleep in there. We'd certainly have a sleep in there. And then we've got our advanced sort of workbench thing as well over there. So I think, yeah, we've done the base building that we can do right now. Yes, we haven't done everything. But I think the big draw is the story for me. And now the story is finished, I kind of feel like just doing the survival stuff, just you know, endlessly and infinitely, I think that kind of, I'd, I'd rather go for the story. So I think we've had a good look at it and it is wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful game. And I'm very glad that we've had a look at this and we will absolutely 100% come back to this when there is more story mode for us to go and investigate. When we can go and find out more and have a chat to Burgle and do more stuff and go around the garden and find other you know, important landmarks that tell as a story of what's happened here we will come back and have a look at this but yeah this is only in very sort of early early access it's not been in early access for very long so we'll come back to this when it's a little bit more developed there's a bit more story for us to be getting on with and we can have a bit more of a play with it but yeah this is very good it's very very good i love the idea of this and i'm surprised it's not been done before and it's been done now very well indeed it looks wonderful it plays very well indeed and yeah it, it's really good i really enjoyed grounded as we've played it so far but i think uh, yeah we'll leave it for the moment come back when there is more story for us to enjoy hopefully you have enjoyed this though if you have then please do leave a like that would be very very splendid indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other stuff and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, it's just not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.